our area here in Renshaw is a traditional potato and cabbage growing area. And there are actually a lot of old style root cellars around the landscape here that have uh, fallen into disrepair. Our new project is to expand our existing root cellar, which we built in 2000. So we've gotten 15 years of experience um, with this building. So this is our existing root cellar here behind me. Um, my parents live above it. So the idea behind a root cellar is to use the Earth's ambient temperature to buffer the effects of the, the outside world. The wild temperature swings we have between 90 degrees in the summer and 30 below in the winter. Meanwhile, the Earth stays around 45 degrees down eight feet below the ground. And that's really close to ideal storage temperature um, for vegetables. So really all we have to do is adjust by a couple degrees here or there, depending on the crop. The first 20 feet will be a cooler. And so we'll be, both be able to use that in the summer for, for uh, our summer deliveries. And then mostly in the winter for storing um, vegetables, carrots, uh, beets, rutabagas, parsnips, cabbage. Well, anything that likes real cold temperatures, just above freezing and high humidity will be in this first area. And then back in the back will be our potato storage. Potatoes like to be a little bit warmer, not quite as humid. A lot of things that we've learned over the last 15 years uh, have been incorporated into the new design. And so what we're doing is we're using modern building environment with proper insulation, concrete floors, floor drains, washable walls, all those food safety features. And our grand vision is to run it all off of solar power. The electricity demand, that, though limited by the unique design that we use is still there and significant and we want to offset as much of that as we can. Here's an opportunity to create a model that can be replicated in other things because a root cellar can show like okay other growers here's what you could do uh, to you know provide uh, food for your community members uh, you know, throughout the whole year. Uh, we've done our best to share our knowledge about not only how to build it, but also how to manage it, how to maintain temperature control. So it just seemed natural that if you know how to do something, there's probably somebody else that'd like to know how to do it too. And come to find out we've been open source before. <laughs> before that term was really around. So anyway, that's kind of fun. That's our concept for a modern root cellar um, that uses the benefits of earth sheltering and then also the benefits of modern technology.